welcome back for my final more important analysis video on Wednesday the 10th of January with me Richard Perry market analyst at Handtech Markets. Let's look at gold which threatened that uptrend uh, this morning. Uh, silver has actually broken its equivalent uptrend but again silver has rallied as well but gold seen, uh, had initially broken that uptrend but um, not on a closing basis yet. And uh, you've got the question marks as to whether this is going to be turning into a corrective move. Certainly looked early morning today when the market was trading uh, again below yesterday's low that the market was sort of developing into a corrective phase. And I was going to start to talk about 1300 big fig um, 1300 bucks being a big key support. This big breakout um, and the, uh, the long term pivot band between 1300 and 1310 being supportive. Um, and again, you are actually seeing that still last week or so four occasions four separate occasions on, on four trading days you've seen the market sort of dipping into that support band and being bought now the momentum indicators are slightly corrective not in a massive way and um, the RSI sort of pulling back below 70 is not great but markets just sort of slowing in its advance really uh, and this uptrend could well be broke um, sort of be broken purely by the fact that the market could turn into a consolidation phase but I think the key support being 1300 is what we need to look out for. Now on the hourly chart you can see the market just drifting a touch with a near term slight negative bias admittedly but uh, just still drifting. Now this rally that we've seen this morning is actually taking the RSI on the hourly above 60. Now this has not been seen for the last couple of days so again is this sort of a uh, possibility of a turning point. I think watching the MACD lines on the hourly could give it uh, a clue as well. If they fail under neutral and the RSI um, sort of s starts to drop back below 60 again, that would be telling. Uh, if the market also posted another lower high below these highs, sort of 1320 to 1322 area, I think if that were to be seen as well, then that could again be sort of part of um, what well, turns into a consolidation phase at least. Um, so uh, yeah, interesting moves on gold today, but uh, I wish you good luck in trading and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.